through the whole series because I really like I said I really like that show and and for the times I looked in Best Buy they never had it until like a while back that I finally find them in the one TV section I'm like oh thank you finally I, I couldn't resist as soon as I saw them I just had to get them something that's worth getting trust me if you're a fan of the show you're definitely gonna buy it no doubt about it yeah moving on and this one is something I bought in some place in Stapleton a few years back and it's a martial arts film and it's supposedly Bruce Lee but it's more like a knockoff Bruce Lee cause if, ain't, cause it, if it was Bruce Lee it wouldn't be spelled with L-E-A so it's one of those imitators and it's just something they put his image and they put his name but it's not him it, and it's just alright but it's an alright martial arts film but I prefer the real Bruce Lee not something I want to watch again that much like I said the quality so the quality is a little weak probably a transfer who knows and as you can see it's a skinny case I don't know what the hell it's all about but eh, it's alright but like I said nothing really I would say is better and the place was a piece of shit anyway when I found it and then going back there again anyway another movie is Man With Two Brains to be honest with you this is not really my DVD this is actually my dad's and some of the stuff you're going to see though by the way not all of them but certain DVDs might belong to some of like my dad and there's going to be like two of the actually are my brothers but I never claim them back see this I haven't watched it yet so I can't really say anything about it so and so yeah it's a Steve Martin film Man With Two Brains and I got Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2 sorry about that I like the first two didn't care for three that much thought three was an embarrassment and I thought it was just seemed a little too rushed and everybody just didn't seem to be in it into it and Topher Grace get the fuck out of here yeah anyway Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke classic comedy of the 70s and still is to this very day and still gonna be the funniest movie no matter what era you live in especially if you like pothead movies <laughs> so it's gonna be worth watch and the next movie I have is of course everyone's favorite action star Sylvester Stallone and Cliffhanger and I'd say this is a really good film and I like John Lithgow as the villain really good solid choice there for a villain not many people can say that about John Lithgow, but he really is a good actor, Ch choice as a villain. So yeah, Cliffhanger, really good action film. And the next movie is something I found at a drugstore. It was like only like three ninety nine, so I didn't really spend too much. Thankfully, though, I still feel ripped off. And that movie's Night Trap with Robert Davy, uh, Michael Ironside, who we all know from Total Recall, uh, John Amos, who was also in Die Hard 2, Die Harder, and all I gotta say is about this movie is it, it, it now I can see why it was in such a place like a drugstore and it was very cheap, because this movie is so fucking boring. Like, I can't even comprehend exactly how boring it is. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot interesting, but nothing really interesting ever happens in this movie. Was Michael Ironside a decent actor in this movie? Yeah, but he wasn't really a better film. I, I liked him better in Total Recall, but this movie really... Uh, but, whatever. I I'll give it a second chance, but... The second, the first time I couldn't get into it that much, I just found it very, very boring. And the next ones are all the Saw films. One, two, three, four, and five. Even though five kind of sucks compared to the other ones. But I still bought it anyway to complete the collection of the Saw films. But I've seen a lot worse, let's just put it like this, folks. Some people like the series. I know I do, and some people don't. Understandable. 
Do I prefer, if I wanted to watch a movie with a big time horror icon, I watch Freddy Krueger, Jason, you know, well known, old school ones. Even though Saw's alright with me, in my category. I mean, the first two were pretty cool. Second one had a really good body count. Third one was like, yeah. Four, you know, I'm not even gonna get into it. Next one is a box of Wes Craven. The films like The People Under the Stairs, The Serpent, and The Rainbow, and Shocker. Three awesome horror films by Craven. Best buy, best buy, not the place, I mean, it's the best buy to get. Bought it on Amazon over the summer. Best money well spent. So when you get a box set like that, the three films that you want on the DVD so badly, you can actually get it. Next one is a definite. And like I was saying before about if I wanted to choose in between two movies in my collection to watch as my favorite horror icon, I would take this horror movie any day over Saw. And you can't say anything bad about that opinion because you know it's a fact. And that is The Nightmare on Elm Street. The whole set, including the extra DVD, which has the features. Very, very, very awesome to own. And I had this as the VHS set. And see, I don't have a VCR no more, sadly. I still got the tapes and all. But I can't even watch them, so that sucks. Do I kind of miss doing it? But you know, what happens. But thankfully, I bought this when it was in the Saturday matinee. So awesome for it to happen to get. Though I will admit the DVD is a little more better because stuff you couldn't get in the VHS. Maybe that's just how I look at it. Now the next movie is pretty much all Van Damme. Get the Van Damme out of here. Out of the way. Now for his... Yeah, now it's time for some Van Damme. Uh, of course I'm going to pick this one first because it is one of his best films and this is his film. And he, this is what got him really noticed as an icon. Blood Sport. Really awesome fight a martial arts film with a really awesome soundtrack especially Into the Night which I'm looking for the mp3 of but I can't find that shit anywhere but I'll try again later but yeah and another good film that I really enjoyed with him and Dolph Lundgren is Universal Soldier I want to see the other Universal Soldier film when it comes out I have not seen Return, the re Return, or something like that. And I mean, I saw Treffa. I'm like, really? Bill Goldberg. I mean, he has Michael Jai White, which is pretty cool, but eh, I'll give it a chance. Though I mean, gonna trash it. Some people might like it. Some people don't, obviously. But I'll check it out myself. For like, like I said before, like I, I'm gonna do with the other movie. Uh, oh, fuck, I can't remember what it is now. But I'll download the torrent of that eventually. And the next film is also another classic film with him in it. Not much, uh, not too much fight sequence like Bloodsport, but I still enjoy it overall. It's Kickboxer. And the reason for that is, is because, well, you have really likable characters and all that. And I don't want to see the sequels because if they, because they don't have Van Damme, so it's not really worth seeing. I mean, who really wants to see a Van Damme sequel? with some guy playing that part and just doesn't really seem to interest me. So I'll just stick with the one, the originals. Why well, I think I never brought up the fact of wanting to see this blood sports sequels because I heard they suck. But anyway, and here's another good Van Damme film that got a sequel and just did not really click with me. Time Cop. I mean, I tried watching the first half of the movie on YouTube. I just turned it off. I mean, you know, I don't even want to watch this now. It has Jason Scott Lee, but you know, besides I heard that movie was just crappy anyway, but and it had a crappy TV show to go along with it, so yeah. Time Cop, awesome time travel film. I, I always found time travel pretty exhilarating and interesting, and hell, I still wish I had a time machine or something 
them little time travel because that always interested me. Hell, it'll get me out of, out of this fucking shit fest of an era. And hopefully when we get into the next decade, hopefully it'll be a lot better than the last one. But then again, I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully it won't repeat the same cycle what we've been doing for the last few years in this stupid era. Yeah, believe it or not, I hate being in the 2000s pretty much. I'd rather be in the 90s, 80s, or 70s. Other than that, I do not care for this era too much. When it comes to certain things, I don't know, it's just that's how I am now. Hence why, it made, hence why I'm in the Old School Losers Club and made that nostalgia video because, yeah. Another film is Double Impact. And just 